Site Specific was formally created. It's an NGO uh, which promotes land art in South Africa and abroad. Site Specific does land art events which promote land art and community involvement. It's the fusion of culture and nature and we teach creativity in nature. It's where communities get to learn about nature and how important nature is and where we get to express ourselves without much expense, where kids learn to express themselves using natural materials and watching really world famous artists doing incredible artworks on beaches, in parks and in nature. Land art is a really new concept in South Africa and it is trending worldwide. The earth is dying and we need to tune into that and do our bit and be aware of nature. Site Specific runs the biannual international land art um, event in Plettenberg Bay, uh, which I attended for the first time last year. And on the way back, chatting to people, we came up with the concept of having a Josie chapter where we have events in Johannesburg. We're planning to do these seasonally to look at the different things that happen in each season, the natural cycles of nature and so on. We hoping to draw an audience of people who are very interested in ecology, in nature, in, in, in land issues, you know, and, and, what, and, and people who really want to support the idea of land art expressing the meaning of all the, the, the problems and issues that we face on our planet. Angus Taylor is an amazing sculptor from South Africa. He's based in Pretoria. He is going to be helping us and it's a real honor to have him on board. My contribution to the land art in the Botanical Gardens in Joburg will be a thatch head that I made in 2010 that was made in a gift economy. It wasn't really a commodity one can sell because it's something that deteriorates quite speedily when placed outside and it changes in its appearance. So this event will take place at the Johannesburg Botanical Gardens in Emerentia, right in the middle of leafy Johannesburg, on the 5th and 6th of April. And on that weekend, you can come and watch the artists working on the Saturday and talk to them about their works. And on the Sunday, they'll be here to talk about their works to anyone who's interested. There'll also be public participation, where we'll have materials, natural materials, obviously, for the public to play and experiment and, try and make their own land artwork. 